my name is Kiyoshi Nakazawa. I am the ad man for Giant Robot Magazine. And today we'll be looking at some basic self-defense tips using a handheld cell phone. In basic self-defense in the streets, one of the most important issues is distance or range. You don't want to let the bad guy get a hold of you ever. Uh, first thing to do is just run away. But under certain circumstances, you may have to do something to set up making space. If you have something handy, such as a cell phone, ballpoint pen, anything, uh, you can use it to sort of gain leverage, do something to sort of make space. And it, with that space is where you would then leave, you know, or uh, move on to more, uh, uh, how would you say, um, immediate steps, running. If this is his range here, and this is my range here, maybe if I have a cell phone, have a couple extra inches, maybe that's better for me. You can push someone back, right? It gives you just a couple extra inches. Um, another thing, is if the guy's getting close, let's say he's grabbing me, he's back guy, oh no, he's hugging me, maybe you could stick it <laughs> right in there, right? There's a very sensitive spot. He's got goosebumps now. There's a very sensitive spot below the ear on the jawline right here. You press it. Oh, no yeah. fun. So again, get the sharp edge of your cell phone. I'm going to come up. He grabs me. All right. Oh, no. Get your cell phone in there. Get him off of you. Get away. All right. And the third step, you got a bad guy coming towards you. Hey, stay away from me. That's he grabs me. Oh, no. I want to come in here, take a look. I'm covering here. I'm going to stick the sharp edge of the cell phone. Look for Adam's apple right there, and sort of push it away. <laughs> right? You don't, you don't, you don't want to let him get that close. But if he does, stick your cell phone in here, in the throat, in the eyes. Here. <laughs> what about the forehead? The forehead? You know, it's a hard, it's a hard thing. You don't need to. It's uh, that's his uh, little helmet there. You, you know, the forehead is too, too. Um, Dent, but you can go for the nose, the nose job. If you want to use your cell phone like a like a weapon, a little hammer around right the nose. So if he's coming, if he's coming towards here, block and just prison there. You want to hit all the nice sensitive spots, eyes, throat, underneath the jaw. See, in any um, self defense uh, move. There's no such thing as, like, the, uh, uh, not usually any such thing on the streets as you're not going to get hit. If you're on the streets and you're going to engage in self-defense, be prepared to get hit. The idea is, is that you have to hit harder and hit more accurately. Here's, here's Martin. He's got a little distance here. Uh, I'm talking on my cell phone. I should be paying attention. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. <laughs> here, here's this. So we got controlling the hand here and pushing here. Right? Kind of, you know, oh, he's going to kick me in the groin, right? I've got to be careful of that. There's, there's that. And uh, if there's talk on the cell phone, la, 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 la. Um, so what if, but you've got, you're facing him. What if you're kind of like sideways, your back toward him? Well, then what? Uh, that's hard. I mean, you, you don't... Start you don't, talking on the phone. Let's just see what happens. You don't, don't want to... <laughs> it's a taser now. <laughs> There's very little you could do. You're, you're not paying attention. You got your back towards the bad guy. Um, there's very little you could do. You have to. <laughs>